Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just like I thought, the people starting to recognize now that Bernie Sanders is USA's AMLO. He has lots of the same ideas and it means helping the people, helping the people of the US the way AMLO is helping the people in Mexico. AMLO is Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, the Mexican president that is revolutionizing the way politics is run and getting rid of that old, corrupt, neoliberal, plutocracy, crazy way of running governments that have been going on and uh, have been destroying many countries, many Latin American countries, even some European countries where the rich, the uh, the ones that are controlling the money are injuring the rest of the world. And uh, in this video, you'll see just how obvious it is to everybody else exactly what is going on with the US and Bolivia. Without further ado, let's go on with this video and I'll translate. Hola, ¿qué tal, amigos, amigas? Bernie Sanders, el que se le dice que... So, he says, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Bernie Sanders, who is said to be... Es el AMLO mexicano, fue... Is the Mexican AMLO. Fue invitado por Jorge Ramos a uno de sus programas en... He was invited to Jorge Ramos, uh, one of his programs. Univision. At Univision, it's the Mexican or Latin American Spanish speaking uh, uh, TV station. And there was a scandal that erupted in the social webs. Because this man, Bernie Sanders, has some very good ideas podrían revolucionar eh, Estados Unidos como lo común. That could revolutionize the United States. Hacemos en estos momentos, de hecho, son the way we see it at these moments. Ideas muy parecidas a las de Andrés Manuel López Obrador. They are ideas that are very similar to Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Por de prioridad a los pobres, seguro me with putting priority with the impoverished Médico para toda la gente. Uh, uh, medical uh, care for all the people. De apoyos sociales. Social supports. Etcétera, etcétera. Etcétera, etcétera. Pues este señor, en pleno programa. Ah. So this man, right in the plentitude or middle of this program. Jorge Ramos, en pleno programa de Jorge Ramos. Right in the middle of Jorge Ramos. Now let me tell you about Jorge Ramos. Jorge Ramos is what they call the Fifi Press. He used to be well known as a good uh, journalist, but he sold himself to the, how shall I say, to journalism that doesn't always stick to the truth, but attempts to um, sway and confuse the truth and the public in order to benefit um, private interests. Le dijo sus verdades, le dijo. And he told him the truth, the truth about himself, about Jorge Ramos. Le preguntó Jorge Ramos sobre la situación. So Jorge Ramos asked him about the situation. Que sucedió con lo que es el presidente Evo Morales. So he asked him about the situation with Evo Morales, the president of Bolivia. En Bolivia, y pues ya saben cómo es Jorge Ramos. But you know how Jorge Ramos is. Con sus preguntas. You know the types of questions he asks. Sumamente sesgadas. They usually are skewed. 
como queriendo atacar también a Dios. At the same time he tries to attack. Por tiempo diciendo no que en, en lo que sucedió allá en Bolivia. He says no, what happened over there in Bolivia? Bolivia no fue golpe de estado. It wasn't a coup. It was an attack on the state. O no, es un dictador, ya sabes. No, he's a dictator. Saben cómo es este señor. You know how this man is. How this man Jorge Ramos is. Jorge, este Bernie Sanders. But Bernie Sanders. Lo agarró eh, got a hold of him. Dijo, ¿sabes qué? And he told him, hey, listen, you. Hubo un golpe de. There was a coup. Estado. Estoy muy preocupado. I am very worried. Por lo que sucedió. About what happened. Con el señor Evo Morales. With the man Evo Morales. Eso no puede seguir pasando en América Latina. This cannot continue to happen in Latin America. De hecho, en la misma cuenta, en la cuenta oficial. Also, in the, in the same uh, uh, account, in the official account. De quien es ahorita candidato para lo que es eh, la presidencia de los Estados Unidos. For whom is now a candidate for the presidency of the United States, Bernie Sanders. De Bernie Sanders, pues ahí mismo lo tuitearon, ¿no? Tuitearon el video. So, they tweeted it. They tweeted the video on Bernie Sanders' tweet. Y tuitearon lo que dijo este Bernie, ¿no? And they tweeted what Bernie said. Evo Morales hicieron un gran bien aliviando la pobreza y dan... So, he said that um, uh, Evo Morales had done a great thing and he had uh, ended poverty or alleviated the uh, poverty and he gave the indigenous people of Bolivia a, vo a voice that had they had never had. And then the final day, it was the military who intervened in those processes when they exercised when the uh, military intervened, this is what is called a coup. ...a los pueblos indígenas de, Bolivia, de Bolivia, una voz que nunca antes habían tenido. Al final del día fueron los militares quienes intervinieron en ese proceso. Cuando el ejército interviene, eso se llama golpe de estado, ¿no? Y dice en el foro de, la, de Real América, ¿no? Ahí donde sucedió... So he, they did this in the forum of Real America. This is where this happened. Con Jorge Ramos se hizo un escandalazo en redes sociales. And there was a scandal on the, on the social webs. Y empezaron a criticar a Jorge Ramos. And they began to critique Jorge Ramos. De manera, pero muy, muy tajante. In a very strong way. Ahorita vamos a ver el video. El audio también con el video dice, Jorge Ramos se rasgaba las vestiduras como mártir de la... And they said, Jorge Ramos was shredding his clothes like a martyr. Democracia. Cuando... For democracy. Cuando la organización de los Estados Americanos dijo que el 5% de los votos... When the United States, the OEA, Organization of the United States, said that... Um, They were, uh, that there was five uh, percent of the votes of Bolivia could have been irregular, and that Evo, but Evo won with eleven percent. So had it been five percent, that he that there were irregularities, still he would have uh, won with that number. En Bolivia, podía tener irregularidades. Cuando Evo ganó por el 11%, o sea, Evo estaba ganando por el 11% y dijeron que había fraude, no, nada, no, total mentira. But they kept silent when the uh, tens of, uh, or I, I don't know how many uh, indigenous people were being uh, massacred by the um, military there. Pero guarda silencio ante las decenas de indígenas que están siendo ahorita pues reprimidos por... And right now they are re being repressed by the military. 
el ejército y la policía eh, Bolivia, eh, allá pues en aquel país donde está ahorita una dictadura de la derecha, y dice que quede en su conciencia de Jorge Ramos, no, que no se proclama, pues no dice nada acerca de las cosas tan atroces que están. So why is it that Jorge Ramos does not say anything about the atrocities that are happening right now in those countries? This journalist. Sucediendo en Bolivia. Vamos a checar el video de Bernie Sanders ahí este, pues humillando, humillando a Jorge Ramos. Who wrote in a tweet that, that you thought it was a military tool? Yes. Uh, you can hear that in, he's speaking in English. What happened in, in, in Bolivia? Many people have other point of view. They think that Evo Morales had been in power 14 years, yeah. that he wanted to fight more, and that he wanted to become a dictator. So, uh, what do you think? No, I don't agree with that late, uh, uh, assertion. I, I think Morales, Morales did a very good job. Okay, so let me clarify this for you. They tried to make it look like there was something illegal about uh, what uh, Evo Morales did, which was to run another term. And the reason is that um, in that country, their constitution uh, allows for it. It is not illegal. It is not a break in any of the rules in their legislature um legislation it is allowed to run multiple terms just like we had um reagan he ran another term uh trump is running another term why then is it uh going to be illegal for them to do it according to their rules if they if the people want him and since he has done such an excellent job in Bolivia of alleviating poverty, made 130 some hospitals, uh, made um, 1,100 uh, schools, um, gave um, money to the to the elderly or you know supports to the elderly. All these social programs that he made, he is doing the same thing or did the same thing for Bolivia that AMLO is doing in Mexico. So please do not take your eyes off of what's happening here because they are going after AMLO next because he's doing the same thing. And alleviating poverty and giving the indigenous people of Bolivia a voice that they never had before. Now we can argue about his going for a fourth term, whether that was a wise thing to do and they always thought it was a fraud, the election on October the 20th. Some people think that as well. But at the end of the day, it was the military who intervened in that process. And, after and if you uh, take a look at the videos of what's happening right now in Bolivia, the people are up in arms and they're out on the streets and they're saying they want Evo back and that they are on his side and that he is not alone because the people voted him in, the people want him in office, and if it is allowed in their democracy and in their uh, constitution, then so be it, it is legal. And it is not for the United States to try to get involved in other people's politics and try to control it. In fact, there's a little more to that. The United States was involved in um, something you'll find out here in the future. Ask them to leave. When the military intervenes, or hey, in my view, that's called a coup. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you all. Vimos, vimos como Jorge Ramos esgando la pregunta diciendo no, que es un dictador. So you can see that Jorge Ramos was trying to make skew the question and trying to say oh but he's a dictator and lots of people think that but this is not the only time when Jorge Ramos turned out to be in a very bad situation and on the wrong side. ¿Se acuerdan de esto de cómo olvidar el día en el que Evo Morales pues le cerró la boca a, a lo que es Jorge Ramos? So here they're going to show you a video when Jorge Ramos 
went after Evo Morales himself. Aquí, yo le puse este tweet que este video que lo, lo subí a Twitter llegó a 38,500 reproducciones. Es va. So this uh, video went on uh, Twitter and it got 38,000 uh, 38, retweets. Bastante para Twitter, bastante, créanme. Entonces, pues la gente muy interesada en eso se acordó de esa situación y dice, ¿cómo olvidar? El... And so the people that were very interested in that remembered this. El glorioso día en el que Evo Morales le cerró la boca a Jorge Ramos. So this was the glorious day that no one could forget when Evo Morales shut the mouth of Jorge Ramos. No, le decía que tú no eres periodista, pregunta sobre... He told him, you are not a true journalist. These questions regarding, um, no, do make some questions. Ask me some questions regarding economics on my country. Regard, uh, not hypocritical questions that you are trying to con uh, cause international conflicts with. He was trying to provoke problems. De la economía de mi país, no preguntas hipócritas, quieres causar un conflicto internacional. Pues Ramos es eso. Es un provocador. Vamos. And Ramos is that, he says. He's a provoker. A checar el video. Uno puede ser autor local. No, no, no. Que te acaso es un dictador. So he said, so then you're a dictator, right? Está hablando no, también. No. Que tienes el ser humano. Si para usted es dictador, es su problema. No es mi problema. No es hipócrita pedir democracia para los bolivianos. Te llevo. He said, isn't it a. Um, like something bad to ask for democracy for the Bolivians al poder, al, al poder del voto, y no and use it via the power of the vote democracia para los cubanos. but not to ask for democracy from the Cubans Te pido mucho respeto, no me and he said I ask you for respect do not call me a hypocrite no, le pregunto. no I'm asking you ¿Esa es una hipocresía? is it a hypocrisy la hipocresía seguramente viene de, su, de sus preguntas. The hypocrisy is in your questions. Yo quiero pedir mucho respeto. And I am demanding very much respect from you. Mucho respeto. Mi única, mi única función es hacer las la preguntas. You know? my, he says, my only uh, matter here is to try and ask you these questions. And he's saying, I demand respect. Yo no puedo, yo no puedo hablar de hipocresía. Yo, I cannot talk about hypocrisy with you. Considero que usted no es periodista. Because you are not a journalist. La relación que tiene, que usted tiene con Hugo Chávez. No, What about the relation you have with Hugo Chávez? Responder a preguntas hipócritas. It's, is that because you just want to do uh, hypocritical questions? Entiendo que... Yo hago las preguntas si usted no quiere responder. No, no, no. He says, I'm asking the questions and you don't want to answer them. Preguntas hipócritas. I am not going to answer hypocritical questions. Usted desde ese momento que sabe que yo respeto, pues respeto y sabe. And from the moment you know I came here, I respect, I respect you. No tiene por qué preguntar. And so you need not ask me these disrespectful questions. Mi trabajo como periodista, señor Evo Morales, con todo respeto, es hacerla. Entiendo perfecto. And he said, my job as a journalist is to ask questions. Exactamente, que usted no es periodista. And he says, you are not a journalist. Si usted si quiere preguntar y ver la situación, haga preguntas sobre situaciones económicas en el país. He says, if you want to ask some questions, ask some questions about economic matters in my country. What you are trying to do is cause an in, a confrontation internationally. And I am not going to go with that. So what about all these deaths by Fidel Castro? I see what's happening with Bush in Iraq where he's murdering people, Como las bases, bases militares, dígame. where he has his military bases. ¿Cuántas bases militares tiene en Latinoamérica? How many uh, military bases do they have in Latin America? En el mundo. And in the world. And where are they massacring people every day? Bush para usted es un asesino. So Bush for you is an assassin? 
que sufrirá el pueblo. No. Well, maybe that's what the world would say. Evo Morales para usted. But Evo Morales, is it for you that he is a assassin? Una intervención militar. An intervention, a military intervention. Salvaje, con tantos muertos. That is so savage, with so many dead. El pueblo que diga qué es eso. Let the people say what that is. Usted define qué es. Evo Morales. And then he says, you define what it is, Evo Morales. Piensa que Bush es un asesino. Do you think Bush is an assassin? No insista eso, no insista. Stop insisting on that. El pueblo juzgue, el mundo juzgue. Let the world judge. Y pues bueno, hay muchas reacciones, ¿no? A lo que es este video. And there was a lot of reactions to this video. De hecho, hasta nos pusieron aquí, por ejemplo, todos sabemos que Ramos solo quiere provocación. And here they say, we all know that Ramos only wants provocation and protagonism. Y es ser, y ser el protagonista, ¿no? De la historia. Si se dedica, and so he wants to cause these things to happen in history. Hacer un periodismo crítico, audaz. If he would apply himself to doing journalism that was critical, Pero honesto, but honest, sería mejor para él. it would be better for him. Pero para hacer lo que vende es su but what is evident is that he is into yellow journalism and he's paid off by them. No, no, es que sí, Jorge Ramos, siempre con opiniones, eh, metiendo lo que es calificativos en sus... So he's always adding qualifying questions and things to try and uh, uh, skew things in a certain direction. Preguntas, ¿no? Cuando en el periodismo, pues según, según la teoría del periodismo, eso no se debe de estar haciendo. But in journalism, you are not supposed to be trying to skew things. No. Y luego hay que checar bien cómo aquí es que Evo Morales explica exactamente cómo es que funciona el Fondo Monetario Internacional. Que ta... So here Evo explains exactly when, what the International Monetary Fund is and what it does. También por eso lo tumbaron. And that is the reason why they took him uh, out of power. ¿Por qué? Pues los desenmascaró total. Because he took their masks off totally. Mente a estos bancócratas corruptos. These uh, bank, bank, uh, he calls them bancócrats, these bankers. Corruptos. These corrupt ones. No, no les convenía. It was not convenient for them. Que Evo Morales siguiera en el poder, pues. For Evo Morales to continue in power. Está allá en ese país. In that country. Porque ya no lo podían saquear, ¿no? Vamos. Because they could no longer loot it or, uh, Uh, take the um, take its wealth. Escuchalo. Pero en tema del Fondo Monetario Internacional. But regarding the International uh, Monetary Fund. Y los organismos internacionales. And the uh, international or uh, organizations. Cuando yo llegué a la presidencia. When I came into the presidency. El Fondo Monetario Internacional tenía su oficina en el Banco Central de Bolivia. The International Monetary Fund had their office within. Sí. Ellos son los que decidían políticas económicas. They were within our country and they made the political decisions, uh, economical decisions for our country. Y les chantajeaba a gobiernos. And they used to blackmail the governments. Les condicionaba a gobiernos. They used to give conditions to the government. ¿Y cómo los chantajeaba? ¿Cómo los condicionaba? And how did they do this blackmailing and threatening? Si le falta este presidente de Bolivia. If you need this, Mr. President of Bolivia. Unos 30 millones de dólares. Si, if you need 30 million dollars. Te presto 30 millones de dólares a cambio de la privatización. I will loan you 30 million dollars in exchange for the privatization. De los servicios básicos. Of the basic things in, in the country. Agua en tel. Water. Si quieres 50 millones de dólares, te presto esta plata. Te presto, no es lo And then if I wanted, uh, needed 50 million dollars for something, they'd say, I'd loan it to you, but. Te presto a cambio de que se entregue los pozos petroleros. In exchange, you will have to give your oil wells. A las transnacionales. To international companies. 
Si quieres saber, estaba revisando un dato. And he said, I was reviewing some documents, and they said, if you want... Quiero que te 41 millones de dólares, sí. Uh, if you want 41 million dollars. Quieren necesitar 40 millones de dólares a cambio de la privatización de nuestras refinerías. So then you would have to privatize all your uh, hospitals. Y privatizar. And privatize everything. El último gobierno de Carlos de Mesa. And the last one was Carlos de Mesa. De acuerdo, muy bien. I recall this very well. Este, no tenía plata. He had no money. Había pedido plata de los países europeos para... And he had asked for some funds from the European countries. Para pagar sueldos. So that he could pay some wages. Y les negaron. And they denied him. Y finalmente se acercó al embajador de Estados Unidos. So then he approached the uh, United States ambassador. El 2000... Tres, cuatro. It was around 2003 or 2004. Y el embajador de Estados Unidos dijo, sí. And the ambassador of the United States said, Sí, te presto plata. Yes, I'll loan you money. Pero a condición de que usted haga aprobar en el Congreso. But in exchange, you need to make it, uh, this approved in Congress. La inmunidad para los funcionarios de... The immunity for the officials Estados Unidos en from the United States government Bolivia when they are in Bolivia ¿Se imagina? Can you imagine this? Ahora but now Ahora no es que no, no es no es eh, eh, no decide políticas económicas but now they do not decide political economics. El Fondo Monetario Internacional. This uh, monetary international fund. Nuestro vicepresidente decía, ah, Our president, you, vice president used to say, es quien manejaba la economía nacional. Who used to manage the national economy before? Los Chicago Boys. The Chicago Boys. Ahora son Bolivianos Boys. And now it's the Boliviano boys that are managing the economy economy that are managing the national economy of Bolivia. Dicen, boys, ya no. And some of them say Choqueado boys, but no. Chicago. Ch Chicago. Chicago is the Department of Paz. Fuera, Fondo Monetario Internacional. So they threw out the Monetary International Fund out. They took them out of their banks de in, the, in Bolivia. Antes, ¿quién el de And before, who used to decide politics? The ambassador from the United States. Los de la policía, los the commanders of the police. Que se le critica a Jorge Ramos de no, tampoco, no proclamarse, no, porque ya allá el gobierno usurpador de Bolivia pues metieron un decreto para lo que es que los policías y el ejército pues no tengan inmunidad, inmunidad ante cualquier denuncia. So here he's saying that they had already put in, they made a new decree that the government uh, in their legislation uh, uh, will be uh, supporting the uh, military with their bayonets and their police and that they will be immune from any responsibility and impunity uh, in order to uh, attack the people. De violación de derechos humanos, etc. And so they will not be responsible for fi uh, violating human rights anymore. Etcétera, etcétera, ¿no? Estas son, estas son las hojas, pues... These are the documents. Son firmadas por la misma presidenta that are being signed by this new president that came into power there after him. Furia y su gabinete. With her uh, cabinet. So here they're already doing what Mexico did where they gave impunity to themselves to be able to do whatever they wanted to the people. También es furio. Pues Jorge Ramos, pues no, no ha dicho nada de eso. De... But of course Jorge Ramos has not mentioned this at all. Evo Morales lo dice, los, uh, los autores del golpe de Estado Bolivia. So, um, Evo Morales says, 
that the authors of the uh, coup, uh, uh, let's see, decreed without legislation the support of arms and bayonets from the police. Gobiernan con decretos sin el legislativo y apoyados en armas y bayonetas de la policía y las fuerzas armadas promulgaron un decreto que deja a la institución militar exenta de responsabilidad penal. Es una carta. So, see, this is it. They made a new decree that they are exempt, that they can do whatever they want to the people. That's what they're going to do to us, guys. We better watch out. These monetary funds are no joke. They will come after us. Mm -mm. I do not trust them. We need to do something before they get to us. So now they have impunity to repress the people. Supposedly, the United States organization was there to give human rights and to protect liberties and to pr protect democracy. And they did exactly the opposite. They gave the, um, these governments impunity to go and do this to the people. That's not so civil rights. That's not the protection of rights. That is not a democracy. The people voted their president. The U.S. helped get him out. Who's wrong here? O sea, los policías van a usar la fuerza, el ejército también, y pues no van a poder ser juzgados, ni detenidos, ni nada, ni, ni denunciados. Eso es lo que está pasando en Bolivia. Pues ahí está, amigos, amigas. Pues Jorge Ramos antes era un buen periodista. ¿Quién sabe qué le pasó? And he's saying he used to be a good newspaper uh, journalist, but God knows what happened to him. So, se empezó a vender ahí con los mafiosos de los He began to sell himself to the mafia. Estados Unidos. Of the United States. Políticos como Marco Rubio, ¿no? Like the politicians like Marco Rubio. Y empezó a traicionar al pueblo latinoamericano. And he began to betray the Latin American people. No salió con ellos y pues when he went with them. Empezó a olvidarse ya de, del pueblo, ¿no? De la And he began to forget his people. Gente, ¿no? Antes era buen periodista, ahorita ya. He used to be a good guy. Jorge Ramos es un simple instrumento de esa. He is now simply an instrument. De esas personas golpistas, ¿no? Del, of these people who are attacking. Los de Washington. These people from Washington. Amigos, amigas, digo ustedes qué piensan sobre este tema. So, digo ustedes. Friends, tell me what you thought of this. Um, I, myself, uh, found this to be very much in keeping with what is truly happening. Um, it's got a couple of things um, that I found quite interesting. Number one was the fact that um, Bernie Sanders is so much like AMLO. Number two, that he recognized that uh, what they did in uh, against uh, Evo was a coup. Number two, that he recognized all the good that Evo had done for his people by giving him a voice and giving him so many of the social uh, programs and things that he did that helped his people better themselves. In fact, another thing that happened, that their illiteracy went from 25% or something, a very high number, to 2.6%, uh, I believe, something like that. But there's a lot of good that that president did, and the people love him, and you would love him too, and you would want him to stay for a few terms if he had been your president, and uh, you were faced with the choices of people like the ones that came in, like this lady who came in, who is at the service of the International Monetary Fund, who's ready to rip off the rest of the natural resources of all the Latin American countries and any place that will allow it. We cannot allow it. We have to fight. We have to fight against this injustice that is being done to all our people around the world. And I don't mean just Latin Americans. They're doing it to everybody. They are 
getting richer and they gotta realize you can't just keep doing that because you're gonna implode upon yourself when you've put people in such a state of poverty that they can no longer buy anything. What are you gonna sell if you've taken everything from everyone? Don't be ridiculous. Do what's right. Be human. Find that human part of yourselves. And I'm talking to the wealthy plutocrats and the international money fund and the U.S. people that are involved in all these situations that are stealing from all the countries in order to enrich themselves and not think about the people's suffering that they are in incurring. It is ridiculous. And I, for, for one, am embarrassed to be part of this, to be living in a place that is doing this to the rest of the world. It is an embarrassment. I hope you listen, pay attention, stop sticking your head in the sand because pretty soon they may be coming for you. Thank you.